tonight in the snake pit. I have globalized plans here. All right, what I'm gonna do is go down to the university and get some eggheads that are cooked on drugs or in the computers, start fucking hacking Bitcoin. I bring you the Red Hood in Nature 5000. I'm asking for maybe about uh, uh, half a million to start. I mean, I feel wet. Oh, good. Well, I feel good. Good. So get the fuck out of here. Go. snakes. Okay, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Here's what I got. I just busted out of the joint because I put my old put my old partner on ice. He spilled the beans. They were soybeans, I think. But anyways, here's what I need. 75,000 bucks to get started. I'll pay you back 125,000 in two weeks. No problem. And besides the point, all I need to do is like get started up. Here's my comprehensive step-by-step -step plan. Step one, get a bag of fucking white powder. I don't care what it is, it sells, and they love it. Step two, get some muscle. Step three, get some hardware. Step four, get some steel doors and windows for the house, and they'll need a rope and a bucket. Okay, and now I'll get some hose. All right, when you start going up from that, all right, and then I'll realize that I'm gonna start a racket, racketeering. All right, well then, wait, um, extortion. That works out pretty good, you know, because people kind of go, oh, still beat me up. And so, anyways, well, I don't want to, but they usually pay. Uh, so perfect. All right, so we start going with that. I have globalized plans here. All right, what I'm going to do is go down to the university and get some eggheads that are cooked on drugs or in the computers, start fucking hacking Bitcoin, and you know what I'm also going to do? Fucking ransomware. Government mainframes, they'll pay to fucking get their stuff going. They don't want to look like idiots, and we'll just keep it under the fucking table. And step, okay, then we get into infiltrating world governments. And then we're going to start up a kleptocracy. And you know what? We'll do a better fucking job than the people there in place. So what do you say? And here's what I also got planned. Dividends, all right? So I pay you back, but you can just buy into shares. Like I can incorporate, you know what I mean? So we can also go with that. And we got shareholder meetings and everything, and you guys can be on my board. No bad, you know? I like what you're doing. That's something I can maybe go for. Yes, good. Very much good. Yes. I'm in. I know this guy from the joint. Mm. <laughs> He's fucked up. <laughs> um, I'll be in touch. Bye. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Remembering's dangerous. I find the past such a worrying, anxious place to be here. <laughs> the past tense, I suppose you could call it. Oh, memories are dangerous. One moment you find yourself in the carnival of delight. Next, you find yourself going somewhere you don't want to go. Memories can be vile, repulsive little brutes. Like children, I suppose. <laughs> but can we live without them? Memories were what reasons are based upon. If we deny them, we deny reason itself. <laughs> Although, why not? I mean, we aren't contractually tied down to rationality. There is no sanity clause. So when you find yourself going to the places of your past where the screaming is unbearable, remember, there's always madness. You can just step outside and close the door and all the dreadful things that happen to you. 
and you could lock them away forever. Which is why I bring you the Red Hooded Nature 5000. It will rid of you of all your dreadful memories. Just like that. Now, Gary here. He's had a, such a difficult life. Haven't you, Gary? Oh, what have they done to you? <laughs> so, you want to be free of these memories, no? Very much so. I can give you the peace you desire. With one little push of a button. <laughs> I'm way too high for this. Hmm. So, judges, what do you say? Would you mm -hmm. like to be free of your past too? <laughs> You're insane. Don't call me insane! Forget it! I've got to get back to Arkham Asylum. Before they realize I'm missing, <laughs> I've got a date with Batsy. Bye-bye! <laughs> Brother Snakes. So my proposal is very simple. We got way too many homosexuals here. My proposal is very simple. We obtain the right to Saturn. That's right, Saturn, the re that lovely planet with all those lovely rainbow rings. And we give it to the home. We have all the homosexuals sent over there on a space arc on the planet Homotopia. Now, I, I'm not asking for much, but unfortunately, because space arcs are expensive and plus like tens of thousands of dried food package and whatnot. I'm asking for maybe about uh, uh, half a million to start and maybe an extra five million per year just to keep the homosexuals happy. Uh, plus we gotta track down all the homosexual celebrities like Ellen DeGeneres and Ricky Martin and Mick Jagger. Hey, even once counts. So besides that and uh, what else do we need? I've also got a, a very special questionnaire for people, you know, to find out who are the homosexuals. Uh, first question is, have you ever been a homosexual? Are you homosexual? And of course I got them gender specific. Uh, for the men it's like, do you like gladiator movies? What happened last, way, last week on The Real Housewives? And for the ladies, where would you rather go for entertainment? A strip bar with men in G-strings or a burlesque show? Where would you rather shop? Walmart or Home Depot? So, with your money, we can help get this world straightened out. Piet the suka. Ah! boy. Hi, I'm Maxine Bloomworth. And this is Milton. He doesn't have a last name, just Milton. Mm. And uh, this is Genie's shampoo. And it makes you 17% smarter. Tried to get it to 50%, didn't really work. So 17% is what we got. Um, and yeah, it actually like exfoliates your scalp and it's it's super, it's great. Um, so Milton here is going to demonstrate. demonstrate. Yes. Just lather it on, pour it, lather it on. Good. Isn't it awesome? Doesn't it, it feel good? It feels awesome. Yeah. It feels awesome. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, I know I look good too. I think you're losing some hair though. What? Yeah. Holy oh, shit. I'm on fire. Am I on fire? I'm on fire. Oh, holy oh, shit! Holy 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 shit!
What the hell is this shit? Bullshit sucks. Nothing I want to get into. Yeah. Uh, ah, fuck. Now you're not on fire. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gunther. These guys are fucked, man. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Pookie 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 p